Hello. How you doing? Okay. Oh my god. I feel like I haven't streamed in so long. Okay. Let me see if this game works. It's me. Hi. How are you guys doing? Oh shit, I forgot that you have that chat. Let's switch the chat for today. Well, let's do this one. This is so fucking loud. How you guys doing though? Your seventh is shitting. Is that it's your seventh? I don't know. Um, I can't even tell if my seven TV is working. Let me see. What are the, what are my emotes for seven TV again? Seems like oh well, that's BTTV. Oh, fuck, that's the wrong one. It seems like oh wait no wait is my oh no just bad five head. It's just still really loud. At least on my end, it looks like it's loud in the thing too. Okay, I'll move chat. How do I frick? It should work. There we go. Let's move it right here. Or on the left side. I think the left side is better. I'm used to having chat on the left side. I'll just do it above me, maybe. So, let me introduce you guys to. I think this is like a visual novel game. I said I was gonna play Hot Full Boyfriend. I lied, we're gonna play a date with death instead. And I've seen like, um, some, what do you call it? Videos about it. And it seems really nice. So I have no idea what to actually expect from it. And I think this is like a, uh, is this done by an indie creator? Who actually, let me see who created this. A date with death is created by... Where's the store page? Oh, it's like two and a half studios. Two and a half not men studios. Ah, oh, is it your birthday? Happy birthday! Any special plans? I'm pretty sure it's only one person. Because I feel like date with death is their... It might be their only... I lied, it's not their only visual novel. Feel old? Bro, aren't you younger than me? The heck? I guess this nerd. Okay, let's try it. I think this is, this is just a demo, by the way. The full game is not out yet, but I was... I think I, I don't remember if I signed up for it. Um, I got an email. It's like, yo, you want to play the the demo of this game? Like, sure. So we'll do that. Or when you're a part. Yeah, I think it's like roughly the same. And you're saying you're old. This dude. Look at this guy. Okay. Let's see how much the demo has. I'm not expecting to be like a, a lot of content. Maybe like an hour and something more. We'll see. 99 look oh i thought we were talking about age for a second not the year i'm in the 2000s so i'm a year younger haha <laughs> look at this old dude no just kidding look how pretty this art is though dude not gonna lie sometimes i wake up in the morning and i like when you have to bend over i'm just like holy shit i'm so fucking old can't even freaking crouch. You have always been a perfectly ordinary person. 
An ordinary person with an ordinary job and an ordinary apartment. Imagine having an apartment. That is, putting aside some of the strange occurrences that happened around you. Who hasn't been involved in a train crash, a house fire, a hurricane, and a parachute-related skydiving issue all in the span of a few months after all? You've always been this way. You found yourself in many unlucky situations, but come out unscathed every time. Friends and family have always called you lucky, but at this point, you don't even bat an eyelash at these occurrences. A piano falls from a six-story building above you, you simply step to the side. No, this is, this is like, that, that's some voodoo shit right there. You trip on your shoelace and fall down a flight of stairs, not even a scratch. I think it's auto-playing, which is why I don't want to like stop too long. It's one, it's on one of those unusually ordinary days when you arrive home and look in your mirror. What do you see? <gasps> oh, customization! Yes! No plans? No, no eating out or anything like that? I don't know if I should be playing as a girl or a guy. Are you a girl or a boy? Um... Oh, the, the purple is always too dark. We are trying to risk death. That is the plan. How do I do the back color? Oh, here we go. Some of these hairstyles, not gonna lie, do look familiar. Honestly, this hairstyle is really nice. I like that. God, I wish that were me. <laughs> Rising death? You're a black knight from Monty Python to the Holy Grail. You know, that sounds really familiar. But too bad I don't know what it is. Oh, god damn, your shoulders are thick. Unfortunately, I have... I am not melanated. Because I don't go outside. Oh, I have a question. So, do you guys, like, care about character customization at all? Because I have, like, a genuine question for, for those who care about it to any degree. I want purple eyes! Depends on the game. Okay, so when it comes to character customization, right? Let's say you choose your hair color to be more of a unique hair color. That's not um, blonde, brown, or black. Now, do you care what color the eyebrows are? Do you ma make it match the hair color? You care about hair and dark souls? Me, <laughs> actually. Wait, really? I've never cared about the eyebrow color. And like, if I change it, like, let's say my hair is white and I change the eyebrow color to white, it looks weird to me. Now, would it make it like pink? And it doesn't look too off, but. I've, I've never, huh? Oh, uh, I feel like some, I just forget about eyebrows a lot. Hello, Sad. Hello, Inkle. How are you? I'm just like, oh, right. Eyebrows exist. Q had a point out whenever I draw sometimes, I forget eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> eyebrows are so forgettable to me. Okay. Uh, I don't really care that much about the lips. Oh, damn. There's a lot of, actually, customization. Alright, let me... Why stick with the normal? Uh... I like the normal one the most. Or the first one. Girl, if I have red hair... <laughs> yeah, it's like no one else actually ever mentioned it to me that I forget the I forget the eyebrows. But now I've started realizing I was like, oh shit, I don't I, I don't remember about eyebrows. I'm not a huge fan of the clothes. No, my accessories are locked. Okay, let me see if there's a longer hairstyle. There's a one that's like somewhat. Oh, I thought we had a one that's like tied. It's okay. 
Eyebrows are unimportant. That's fine. I feel like this is just weird. Just having pajama clothes. Okay, we'll stick with this. I'm okay with this. Yes, technically the academia model. It has a vest very similar to this one. So I guess it counts. Character detail. First name, Valk. I don't have a... I don't have a last name. Can I not just have a... Not have a last name? We're gonna keep with the fluffy cat though. Okay, your last double shift. No more double shifts. Last name Stinky. Bro, I'm trying to have an immersive visual novel experience here, so. And just be like, yo, like, hi, Valk Stinky. I cry in my sleep at night. Hey, let's go with this, though. Oh, I don't know if. Wait. Does it not let me? Oh, I might need a last name. Fuck. Was well, it still whatever the canon was supposed to be? No, I need a last name. Fuck. It is what it is. Mm. Oh, wait. There's so much customized. Oh, wait, I love this. Ooh, greenery or minimalism? I like minimalism, though. Oh, you can add everything. Okay, that's a bit much. I think Polaroids are actually really cute. Wish death took my double shift? Um, I don't know about that. Death has- I think death has other things to do. I wish I could move some of the stuff. That's fine. Oh, I think I like the green. Oh, wait. There's maybe too much plants. <gasps> wait, I do like this one. This is so, like... I'm gonna forget about this, because it's not really... I'm spending way too much time on just this. You know the anime figurines? Do you guys actually own a lot of anime figurines? Oh, hold on. Oh, Thank you. It looks really comfy. I think there's not as much space as I would like, but the placement of everything is really nice. You got Lego though? Oh, I'm not big on figurines much myself. I like the because i like minimalism right so i would have mostly like just aesthetically looking things but i wouldn't <laughs> so that's why I, I wouldn't have um i wouldn't have anime figurines hello star how you doing i don't know bitches so it's different owning animal anime figurines and oni <laughs> are having a bitch <laughs> okay I like this though. This looks nice. I got a fluffy cat. It's not mono, but it's a fluffy cat. <gasps> Ankle! Thank you so much for the five gifted subs. Thank you, thank you. You didn't have to. I really appreciate it. Okay, look, it's our comfortable bed. It's seeing you through a men. Huh? Many a night's asleep. You're not that tired yet, though. You can't help but recall the day you brought this bed. It was your first piece of furniture you bought for yourself. Not only was it too big to fit up the narrow stairwell, you got it wedged halfway up. You thought you were going to have to sleep there for now. But eventually it came free, and then you stepped on a loose floor but nearly plummeted down a few flights of stairs. Whoops. It started an experience you'll never forget, at least. A ding comes from your laptop. You take a look at what you expect to be an email. Instead, you find yourself face to face with a strange app you've never seen before. Must be a Persona 5. Ah, take care. Why are you guys- Why are you biting ankle, hello? You look for a moment before hitting the X in the corner of the program. Do we ignore or do we deal with it later? I mean, it's the same thing. If you ignore it now, you're dealing it with later. It's like, it's not that different. I'll deal with it later is probably my- My first thought. 
Chat's full of cuties. I see option one and option one. <laughs> Hey, that's not true. I think I do okay raising alive people, li live people, living people. First date idea, we bite each other. What the fuck? Have you ever seen the meme that's like, if I bite someone and I die, there's like a whole oh damn. We aren't real. No, my immersion, you guys. What the fuck? I'll deal with it later. Oh, wait. So I'm just clicking around. Renovate and appearance, your laptop. Oh, we can change the music. That's cool. I trust you on that. Creme de la gremlin and all. Consume. What are we consuming? Hello? Uh, bookshelf. Pick a new book to read. Never mind. There's the door. I think that's it, though. What's our pet called? Let's see. <gasps> it's mono. Doesn't look like mono at all. Wait, can I change the color of the cat? <gasps> Touch mono's toe beans! You gently poke at mono's toe beans. They're squishy beneath your fingertips. You're thankful mono is a rare kind of cat who likes belly rubs and toe bean poking. A second thing comes echoes through the room where you look back at your laptop screen the app is once again open and flashing on your hotbar you wonder for a moment if you somehow picked up some malware yo that's a i i'd probably be the type to pick up the fucking download some random shit and get a virus beans this model gives enna the energy does it enna energy mono spanish for monkey isn't it Oh, I was thinking, uh, M-A-N-O. For, um, hand. Because we say, because, like, how my family ends up saying it, we pronounce it more like M-A-N-O rather than M-O-N-O. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Okay, so this, I want to show something real quick before we continue on. This, um... This design was supposed to be a little bit more dead than the PNG kind of shows. Um, let's see. Sample image. We'll just put it here. This is what the original design is supposed to look like. Oh shit, damn, that's fucking huge. It's not supposed to be as uh, of lively. I mean, in this design, it's hard to say if that's the case, but... Is that three sets of horn? Is this one one horn? What? But this is the design. But this one is like... Oh no, this is like far into the future. You guys don't have to worry about this anytime soon. I would try to delete the app. And this was me. Tall and less edgy, la, la plus darkness. La plus darkness looks like a brat. The current model feels like it fits you more. Which one? <laughs> Nico, I have like 20. <laughs> yeah, la plus is, uh, does look like a brat too. I think like it really depends on the mood sometimes. Because I feel like sometimes like the comfy model is a little bit more fitting based on the situation or what the stream is so you're a brat i know i'm a brat i think the new year's kid model is the one that's most likely going to be finished next at this point and so that will i think for more energetic streams that is very fitting have you ever have you never been existentially horrifying? What does that mean? Existentially horrifying. Okay, so we're deleting the app off our computer. Oh, that's it. Um I feel like we should actually check our laptop. I want to see what books there is. 
we have with the wanderer the world was empty life was gone the soul whisper wandered now and forever for an eternity their footsteps echoed through empty streets and desolate ruins not even a soul remained to guide the uh, to the their final resting place and so the soul whisper was alone such was their fate the fate of one bound to both life and death without possessing either they walked through a crumbling city looking in on, on the remains of civilization lost in time had it been a hundred years or a thousand seconds merged into minutes hours into days months into years and for once they wondered when their wandering would come to an end their soul was bound to the very world fated to walk it until the very land itself ceased to exist something caught their eye a soul unlike any other as black as night with thousand silvery stars glittered and flowing like a river within its dark folds the soul whisper approached it and in turn huh and in turn it sang them a song nico thank you so much for the sub thank you thank you do you recite the reporting copy pasta what the fuck? <laughs> That's a statement, not a question. Damn, that's crazy. Wait! Oh, it's not subtle, only this dude. Um, a voiceless song filled with wonder and awe. For a moment, the soul whisperer was lost in the rhythm of the universe, caught up in the symphony of the cosmos. But soon enough, the song came to an end, and the soul whisperer finally felt something they didn't know was possible. Fear. Fear of loneliness that came with the guiding of the world's final soul to their resting place. It only took a moment for the soul to disappear, leaving behind a sea of glittering stars in the wanderer's wake. The world was empty. Life was gone, but the soul whisper remained, an eternal wanderer, forever seeking the lost souls of the world that's already long gone. That's so sad. I feel like that's, this is supposed to be just death. Imagine being a happy drunk. That's the thing, I feel like it's kind of good to kind of just know what your limits are when it comes to drinking. How's Mono doing? Mono's fast asleep in the sun. You gently stroke, on, uh, stroke down Mono's back not wanting to disturb him. He's so fluffy and soft. The dings are coming from much more frequently now. Something or someone wants your attention. You're not worried now, you're angry. The ding is starting to annoy you. For a moment, you contemplate throwing your laptop out the window, but calm before you possibly commit a crime by dropping a laptop from the fifth story of a building. This is the fifth floor? It doesn't look like the fifth floor. Canada trip, let's go! We're going to Canada again? Toronto, Vancouver, Mon... Mon is Montreal? I want to say Montreal. Why should we be wrong? Ah, I figured Toronto. Please don't let me get drunk. I'll be gay for everyone. <laughs> I feel like they, they, some people might appreciate that. Thank you for the head pat. Thank you. Thank you. Wait, do I still have the? I think I still have. Psych. I don't have any more. Head pat's gone. Okay, good luck with the final boss and Octopath. Good luck, good luck. Uh, before you know it, the end of the month, it's going to be here. I already tried to delete the app. Do I do it again? We'll just ignore it then. First time wasn't successful. I feel like we should actually check our laptop now. There's nothing else to do. We could leave. <coughs> <coughs> oh my god. I'm choking on my own spit. The door leads out to the hallway beyond. Your apartment is on the fifth floor of a downtown apartment building. There's nowhere you want to go at the moment, but you overhear some talking on the other side of the hall beyond. You don't know your neighbors very well. Perhaps it's a good time to learn more about them. Eavesdrop, hell yeah. You put your ear to the door, straining through the wood to hear the words being uh, spoken beyond. You hear the sound of someone knocking, then a door opening. Sorry to disturb you. I just moved down, uh, moved in down the hall and had a package meant for you delivered to my apartment. A deep, rich voice floats through the door. Oh my gosh, I thought the package I got, got lost. I really can't thank you enough, the other voice responds, light and somewhat airy. Well, it gave me a chance to introduce myself to you, so I call it good luck on my part. Here, all yours. Thanks, again, um, the voice trails off. Oh, my apologies, my name is... Huh? The voice is muffled for a bit... Uh, uh, for a moment, as the elevator thinks you missed the next few words, your humble servant. The second voice laughs. I feel like I owe you something for ha 
having to bring that heavy box all the way he over here. I would hardly call one a flight of stairs all the way over, but I wouldn't turn down a coffee, the deeper voice replies. Oh? Oh? How about tomorrow? It's a day. I mean, not really, but see you tomorrow. See you. Imagine having that good chemistry off like the initial meeting. That is crazy. You hear the door close and the sound of footsteps walking away from the door and then silence. Before you hear the sound of pottery falling from then shattering onto the ground. The door opens again. The deep voice speaks for his eye. Uh, didn't see your plant there. Coffee's on me. The second you hear the second voice giggle, then speak. It's all right. I've been meaning to get a new pot for ages. Okay. To be fair, I just don't think I know people this friendly <laughs> from where I am. Let me at least help clean it up. It's really no trouble. I insist. I was the clumsy one. All right. Let me get the broom. The voices become muffled and silent. That seems to be all the information you get, I'll get for the day. The genie is constant. You don't know how much longer you can put up with the sound. Perhaps it's time to check on what's going on here. I mean, you tried to delete the app already. Weren't you checking on what was happening earlier? Huh? That's what you think. You're going to commit a, a very bad act to this laptop of yours. You're ha you've halfway opened your window when you've come to your senses and closed the app once more. You quickly delete it from your desktop and empty your trash can. But two moments later, it reappears exactly where it was before and opens again. You think about the sketchy sites you've been on, but even that is hard to concentrate on the past... Uh, concentrate on past the constant dinging. You attempt to delete it again, but it won't delete anymore. Try again. Nothing happens. Try again, but angrier. <laughs> Nothing continues to happen. Great, I guess I got a virus. I must stare the app down. You, nope, you think not today. You keep staring at it. Why does this... This BGM sounds really familiar, and I think it's Eclipse BGM. From like the Corpo VTubers. <laughs> the Roman Takemi? The thingy begins to drive you insane. If I actually in in Persona 5, I don't even know who would I actually would try to romance. Have you tried crying on the laptop? Mm, I don't know if that would help. You attempt to shut the computer down, but even that isn't working. Click on the app. It seems to be a strange chat room. Oh hell no! Oh no, the the. What the fuck? Foolish mortal, you shall evade me no more. I've had enough of you. Why do you type like this, sir? I had enough of you fiddling around in your room, ignoring me. I have come to reap your soul. This is That is far more important. Hand it over willingly, for I am not here to play games. The fuck? Answer me at once. I didn't know death could fucking text me. <laughs> that stuck at me. Yeah, yeah, that is, that's the uh, Takemi, the the god, uh, incredibly foolish. Please respond. I see you wish to ignore my demands. Foolish, does it not work at all? Well, this is quite embarrassing. Test it, test it, one, two, three, hello, testing. I like how in the corner that says, uh, single assassins in your area. <laughs> the first option is literally, is that an offer? What is this app? Uh, uh, hello to you too. And Dice Stinky is also another one. If your answer isn't Takemi or Kawakami, their opinion is invalid. You should be on a watch list. That's actually very true. But I legit don't really care for much of the characters in P5. Wait, she does? What? I don't remember that being in the game. Can I click on something else? No, not right now. Soul hashtag eight one two one. What the fuck? Eight one two nine. This is like Discord for real. Ah, it's implied. Ain't he a minor? <laughs> Hold on a second. Monkas. Guys, what do I choose? I, do I just fuck around and choose option one? I 
was a minor when I played P5 and 5R. What is it? <laughs> oh. It's okay, fictional characters. Can't hurt us. People that like Futaba are... So I like Futaba as a character, but I wouldn't say I liked Futaba as like... In, for romance sense. That's what I'm saying. He was like a little kid. Hello, Chak. None of you guys are giving me a response, so I'm gonna answer number one. Eh. Oh, that's a cute profile picture. An offer? An offer for what? I think I would back down immediately. Afterwards. If you don't get it, don't worry about it. An offer for what you said. Visit the Royal Steps for a free dance lesson today only. What are these ads? Double down? Okay. <laughs> Never Damn, they backed off. You know what? Never mind. <clears throat> nope, that is not how this works. You cannot tease something that you n then not explain what it means. How do you know I was teasing? That's not teasing. Or what? Or, or, or I shall take your soul at once. Um, this is weird. Seriously, is this a virus or something? Hey, my character. What is this? Cooking with cat boys? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Yo, I, was, I saw the exact same fucking thing. <laughs> I like how we're just looking in the corner. <laughs> what ad is next? A virus? No, don't be absurd. This is an application that I have created. Also, does my mic still like cut off occasionally when it, if it gets too loud or is it okay? It's on Catboy's a little bit too long, not gonna lie. Messaging you. Yo, why are you trying to message me though? Hey, wait, 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 that, that's all a lot. Have I heard any peeking good? Because sometimes like, I, I hear my mic get cut a little bit. So. I don't even know who you are. It's a little strange to message a random girl out of nowhere. Wait, are you a bot? Uh, hmm. I'm gonna call him a bot. A what? Oh my god, he doesn't even know what a bot is! Oh god! Beep beep- <laughs> so A robot? Don't be absurd. Robots anywhere near my level of charisma, charm, and good looks are not possible. Bro, how is anyone gonna know you got good looks? On a... On a message system. Sounds like something a bot would say. <laughs> I thought Grim Reaper was Calliope Mori. I am not a robot. Robot say huh? Don't tell me Ashley says huh. Bruh. This guy. I have not come here to play your games, mortal. Why are you here then? What the fuck? Premium penile enhancements. 10 out of 10 advisory six to <laughs> What? <laughs> how, did I miss how did I miss that the first time around? I told you, I've come to reap your soul. Mm -mm. Why does mortal sound like a slur? I don't know. If someone called me a mortal, a mortal IRL, I'd be like, yo, this guy is fucking weird. To reap your soul. Sorry, one more time, you're cutting it. <laughs> the character in this game is such a fucking brat, too. <laughs> I said to reap your soul. Man, really bad reception here. Can't make out what you're saying at all. Who, who in the right mind thought that death should have... An internet messaging system. Do not belittle me. I am coming for what is owed to me. That is all. If you would do... It would do you well to not get in your way. In my way. 
They're trying to threaten me or something? Not gonna lie, I forgot what the what the original thing was of I where you say I know who to <laughs> do you, um heart photography. Do you feel threatened by me? If so, then I am doing my job correctly. This bodes well. Oh, I wish I could sound more sarcastic by saying yeah, I'm terrified. Cause he's gonna actually take it literally. Really hot, huh? good. Your instincts serve you well. Yep, really scared at the moment. No, nah, not really. I'm just messing with you. I'm not long in, like, trying to mess with him. <laughs> the colon three face! Oh my god! I feel like the colon three face is the embodiment of chat and Twitch sometimes. You will not mess with me any longer when you find out my true form. You will cower in fear. You will beg me to release you. Uh huh, sure I will. And the true form is... I am the Grim Reaper and I've come to claim your soul. Dude, this guy is just repeating himself. Right. Cool. Not gonna lie, not the weirdest scam someone tried on me. There's one time I got a message from a time traveling astronaut. <laughs> Wait, why does that sound like someone? <laughs> why does that sound like someone I know? <laughs> Said I had to wire the money to preserve the space time continuum. <laughs> uh, did you send the money? That sounds important. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Somehow I'm not surprised that you would fall for that. What? It was a lie? Well, I hope it was. Now you're making me worry. Time is not something to be messed with. Do you love me, level 1 princess, level 50 princess, level 69 princess? <laughs> Jesus Christ. You're kind of baby girl coded. Baby girl coded. What? What does that? What? Stop trying to distract me from the matter at hand. Bro, his typing is pissing me off. Why you type like that? Your soul. You will hand it over? What if I don't consent to this? I have to ask, is this a roleplay? Are you okay? Is this one of those scams? I feel like we did the scam thing already. A roleplay? What is this? Motherfucker doesn't know shit. Holy fuck. Like you're pretending to be the Grim Reaper. Oh, that's it. And you want me to be... Death can't legally take your soul. Is that why that that one fucking politician is still alive? <laughs> I don't know what the fuck his name is again. Uh, your enemy to lovers, sweetheart. Your mortal enemy, mwahahaha. A pizza delivery woman. Your mortal enemy. <clears throat> what? No, I'm the Grim Reaper. This is no game of make believe. This is the matter of utmost seriousness. Seriousness? Seriousness. That's a shame. I like the music of this game though. I used to be what? Mm -hmm. I used to be one hell of a role player back in the day. I'm sure you were. Bruh, this guy fucking. Ble I don't usually respond to spam messages like this. What are these then? Who's the witch, blueberry, baby, deer, and go away? Now I'm thinking I should? Anyway, do you seriously think you're the Grim Reaper? Excuse me? It's kinda cringe! <laughs> I don't know who to say it's, it's cute, but you know. Watch me actually die because 
<laughs> I'm fucking around. I don't even know what that means. Does it mean cool, amazing? Sure, buddy. Whatever your heart desires. <laughs> totally what it means. Oh, thanks then. Hey, imagine responding to a scam email then falling in love with the scammer. I've seen the ones. Have you seen the ones of like the guy who did the TED talk about the Arabian princes and responded to the scam emails? It's not quite the same because there's no romance in there, but... <laughs> but who just installs a program on somebody's computer like that? Oh, whoops, he burned down your house! Do you want to leave or commit- get a revenge? Are you that desperate for attention? It's hilarious, I love that one. And then his fo following TikTok with the rubber duckies? Amazing, I forgot his name also. That makes me feel sad for you. Damn, that's crazy. Your brain truly is tiny, small and completely smooth. This is my job. You are a difficult task, nothing more. This is this this man is mean. Dude, he called us I said us. He called me smooth brain. You're the one who are harassing me. Nobody's forcing you to be here. I have a little choice in the matter. There are issues that must be resolved. So until you stop this ridiculous charade, I will be here. So I have to say yes? Forever? Guess I'll never die. Pockers. If that's what it takes. Forever and ever? I already said yes. You know, I can just leave the chat whenever I want, right? Then you'd be sitting in chat all alone. You, yourself, and I, what? Huh? Mr. Grim Reaper, LOL. One of these days, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you forgot the word commit. Why? What happened for you to want to commit several war crimes? You mock my title now? That's a little embarrassing. Is there anyone who wouldn't? It's less mocking, more light teasing. Yeah, sorry. I would say light teasing. Wait, 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 wait. Quick question. What's that question you want to ask them? Do you walk around and be like, I am death in real life too? Imagine if this was like Omegle. What? I'm a teen with a back pain, a 50 year old. Welcome to the squad. Bow down, your soul is mine. I am the Grim Reaper, death and darkness. <laughs> What's this one? What game even is this? It's a visual novel of us trying to risk death. You do, don't you? This is death we're trying to risk right now. I think something like that. Stunts, silence. Oh shit, there's no way he actually does that. Is your hair as dark as night? Do you hide behind long bangs? You give off dress in all black vibes. <laughs> Risking death question mark. I can't relate to that at least. I think I imagine you completely. Imagine death isn't goth. If only we could meet to confirm my suspicions. It's a funny thought, hee <laughs> hee. What death has my character AIGF? Yo, there's probably something out there for that. Not gonna lie. You, you, I will be not, I will not be mocked by a mortal. Give me your soul. Your soul is mine for harvesting. <laughs> We're playing with fucking fire here. Not gonna lie. It will be a three course meal. No, Yuneko. Hello. You? You? You don't type like that, though. <laughs> How so? It's all kind of edgy. Is it? I guess. Every single thing you say. I'm not edgy. I am deaf. Give me your soul is the least threatening thing I've ever heard. Sorry. My voice isn't cut out for that. You're just proving my point. 
That's not how you pick up people, you know. I'm not picking up nobody. I mean... Exactly. The only thing I wish to pick up is your soul. I don't know, I'm kind of attached to it. Sorry, I'm gonna have to pass. Passing is not an option. Well, you kind of make it sound like I'm gonna have an option. What are you gonna do about it, huh? Huh? It seems you aren't understanding exactly what's at stake. There's something at stake here? Uh, aside from my soul? Answer this at once. Oh. Wait, there's no, no option. Oh no, he's hot. <laughs> <laughs> anything to see for yourself. I am anything but scared of facing mortals such as yourself. Damn, this room is edgy as fuck. What is this? Y you are certainly cuter than I expected. Oh shit. <laughs> you too. Thank you so much for dropping by. <laughs> oh no, he's hot. <laughs> uh. Well, if I'm in the in the mentality of rising death and visual novel dating otome game esque, bam. Excuse me. Cute is not a word I would use to describe myself. Wasn't use I. Well, fuck. Stumbling over my words. I'm not cute. Oh wait, I can just... Oh! I can text us on the side. No? What word would you use? Devilishly handsome, immaculate, gorgeous? Oh god, he has an ego. Simply use your eyes and see for yourself. He has an ego. Someone is very sure of himself. Can I change with you? I can fix him. I don't know if you'll be able to fix him. I really was picturing jet black hair though. Is it usually black? Do you bleach it or something? Why do I waste my time doing that? Imagine he can automatically change the color of his hair. So that's all natural? Of course, don't apply human logic to that which you don't understand. What's this? Okay, now help yourself. Perhaps your eyes cannot leave me. I don't like him anymore. There's not much else to look at. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Either I can annoy him and say that he's cute or fucking piss him off and say you're yeah, you're all right, bro. You're you're it. Wait, what is this? I don't want to press something that I, like I accidentally hang up on him. Hang up a disabled smiley face. <laughs> okay. Move over and I'll look at your room instead. <laughs> no. <clears throat> You're no fun. Never promised I would be fun. Then I have to sit here and expect you. As you said, you probably cannot help it. Well, you aren't exactly Reaper-like, are you? Let me rephrase. You don't look like a Grim Reaper at all. Excuse me? You... What is this? Are just a normal dude! Is it not obvious you can type and text at the same time? So you can't type, but that's an option. How many times do I have to tell you I am death <laughs> that you're the Grim Reaper? You keep saying that, but it's not true. Or, uh, same thing either way. Of course I'm not going to believe you. I'm simply surprised that you could be so naive. I'm the Grim Reaper in charge of ferrying souls to the rightful afterlife. You're still saying it, really. Like, you really can't tell if you're trying to be serious or not. I'm not really interested in being whisked off into the afterlife for whatever you're offering. Nor am I interested in entertaining your strange fantasy. You're truly insufferable. I'm here for the sole purpose of harvesting your soul. Your opinion on the matter hardly matters to me. Think 
what you want about me and my role. It changes nothing. I'm still alive. Like, how's hitting on death working? We're just laughing at him now. Hypothetically speaking, aren't people, you know, meant, aren't people meant to be, you know, dead for the Reaper to come after them? Desperate times call. What does that mean? Desperate times call for desperate measures. Great, now I completely understand. Don't look at me like that. It's not like I chose this fate for you. You're really... You're actually making me feel a little guilty. I'm just here to do the dirty work, unfortunately. Don't shoot the messenger and all that. Aren't you the Grim Reaper? Hello? You mean this one where... Where I look at you like you've lost your mind? Oh, those are my bedroom eyes. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm giving this look picture full of shit. I, I really want to hit number three. I really want to hit three, guys. Nothing will go wrong if I hit three, right? To be fair, in Greek myth, the god of death and the god of underworld are two different people. I guess it, it depends on what mythology this comes from. Because I think... If you think about Hollow Live lore, which is its own thing, Calliope and Mori is the Grim Reaper, but it's different. Remember Hades? True. That's true, though. I guess they just sign like, oh, Valk is gonna die today. Or gonna die soon. Bedroom eyes, is that what you call that? Stop wiggling your eye. <laughs> You're just embarrassing yourself. I don't see how those are supposed to be bedroom eyes. Come on. Are you serious? Can't you see my longing gaze? Did you just scoff at me? Your longingly gaze into your death, a woman after my own heart, it seems. Here, I was trying to flirt. Is that what's that supposed to be? Damn. I don't plan to die anytime soon, sorry. What did I do wrong in my past life to get stuck with you? I heard that. You're supposed to. I didn't whisper it, did I? Hey, he's kind of liking us a little bit more, I say. Better when eyes are closed. Okay. Question to hmm. To anyone who might have had sexual experiences before, I guess. I don't know. Do because like some people like have preferences on light on versus light off. Is it the same? It's just like if you want the eyes closed or eyes, or eyes open. <laughs> okay, that's not the same for kissing though, actually. Because some people like to to kiss with their eyes closed. Or some people kiss with their eyes opened. Open? opened i sleep in bed not sure what other people do in bed oh yeah why would you do anything else in bed <laughs> whatever well like i'm stuck with you anyways you and your weird ass typing why do you type like that anyways <laughs> what is weird ass about my typing wait it's not on purpose explain yourself the capital letters you know i know what capital letters are i'm not brainless like yourself stop you're just mean. I was using them, was I not? Can I say with eyes open is like a no, please? So what if like you're making out? Cause like you're not just like forever kissing for that p p period of time of like making out. You gotta open your eyes at some point. Yeah, that's the thing. You use them too often, way too often. What are you talking about more? Can you stop calling me a mortal? You're using them on every single word. You're not supposed to do that. I do not type- He's so- He's embarrassed! Exactly what I'm telling you. Allow me to perish, thank you. How embarrassing. I do not type correctly. Ah! Bitch, come back here! Why'd you hang up? Damn, that's crazy! Hello? Come on, I was finally having fun. Why'd you leave the call? Come back! There's no particular reason. Oh no, now he's typing lowercase. None whatsoever with a period. Wait, does he type with periods? Uh, 
Oh yeah, I just I type with periods. No, here and there. Periods, periods. Yeah, there is like actually proper uh punctuation. I'm not trying to make you a fun of, uh, make fun of you or anything, but <clears throat> short questions. If you proved yourself to be dead to death to be the most unbearable person ever would you become immortal well it depends if they he would be able to actually kill you or not if he doesn't kill you then wait i want to i want to write a status wait oh shit could it <laughs> wait could i actually do that hey I mean, it's still not right, lol. Well, if you have nothing to say, I'm gonna go. Dev looked at you and swiped left, man. My pride hurts a little bit. <laughs> Guess I'll head to bed. Bro! I was gonna sleep. Oh, he's so embarrassed still. Why is he why is he embarrassed about type typing incorrectly? The way I type is unimportant to the matter at hand. Just hand over the soul so we can be done with this. I thought we we're moving past the whole soul thing. No mortal. There's no moving on until the de the deed is done. You said that once or twice already. And like I said, I don't believe you. I mean, it's fun messing with you, but... The Grim Reaper is real. It's a myth. Do I look like a myth to you? You look like a very pretty stranger. What if death is Sans? Oh shit. Imagine Sans co popping up to take your soul. But the Grim Reaper isn't real. And I'm telling him quite literally. Yeah, okay, okay, I get it. I feel like we're gonna keep going in circles at this rate. How about a bet? A bet? Why are you typing as we're talking? Or maybe some, um, maybe like a deal. Mermaider, thank you so much for the raid. Thank you, thank you. I just realized my 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 alerts is like way off for some reason. It's at the center now. <laughs> Welcome. How was your stream? I feel like last time, last time you read it, I was also playing a visual novel. <laughs> alert, Doko. Alert is there, just hidden a little bit. <clears throat> I can't believe we're trying to make a deal with death, though. Hello, hello, welcome readers. We're just trying to risk death right now. That's just on a normal Saturday afternoon. <laughs> So if what you claim is true, then you should have no problem taking a soul, right? Correct, I've taken many souls. I'll allow you a free pass to my soul. What does that even mean? That's looking kind of hot. That's what I'm saying. The dude hung up on us earlier too, because we, we made fun of his typing. <laughs> but this game is actually on Steam also. Well, it's going to be on Steam. The demo is out currently. So right now we're playing the demo. <clears throat> he swiped left because we were too annoying. Don't worry. He'll like us soon enough, I think. Maybe. <laughs> oh, intriguing. If you can take it. Uh, I'll let you and I'll only put up a small fight. I'm doing good. I'm trying to risk death. So I, I'm as good as I can be until he swiped left on me. <laughs> Just a little one, I promise. And take it, I shall. We'll see about that. I'll give you a week. That should be no problem for a Grim Reaper, no? A week? You shouldn't underestimate me. I only need a day, an hour. Oh? Also, uh, uh, a little heads up for, I guess, those who have not seen the beginning. It's just, we are very difficult to kill or die in this case. We're very good at avoiding death. So far, your wrist has proven equivalent to certain people raise, raisin... Oh, 
As a purple raisin with a shiny glow. What does that even mean? I think our Riz is okay with the options that we are provided. If you only need a date, why did you bother with all of this? Are you perhaps struggling? Okay, no worries. Thank you again for the raid. I hope you sleep well and also have a nice meal. Thank you. I'm honor bound. Huh? I didn't read that. The outcome of such deal. Is a raisin? What does it mean to be called a raisin? Hello? And I am, um, uh. Not honor bound, but you can trust me. That remains to be seen. But. If you can't. What do you ask for? And this is where we ask date for a death. Uh, what, what the death for a date? Your hand in me. Okay, never mind. I thought this was getting. I was only going to ask for a date. I didn't think we were going to try to marry him. But you know, that sounds like a pretty good deal. <laughs> the bad deal in my hands right now. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, yeah, I remember Riz mentioning something about that of trying to woo death or Riz death in this case in this case. My what? When the hell would you want that? You're hot. <laughs> Do you own the house you're in? <laughs> We're after real estate. Wait a minute. I mean, in this economy, you kind of need it. It is very hard to get a good place. Er, uh, yes. So you got a secure job, your own place, and you're handsome. Y yeah, I guess so. Husband material, I think. I'm kidding. That is so mean to call someone husband material and just say I'm kidding. There would be, there would go my ego. Ego? Pride? How about your soul instead? I have a full year to hit GM5. If I do, my friend is gonna give me a PC, but rule is I have to stream it and it has to be hitting be me hitting it like nobody else can get on my account to do it. I could get help though. Like you can you can party with someone. Of course I have an ego. I'm a that's even does do VTubers have egos? Is that correct? <clears throat> I believe a year is a great that's a decent time. I think, I've, like, if, especially if you adopt the mentality of, like, if I'm streaming or if I'm playing a game, may as well stream it. I think it, it's really helpful. Or that's my way of looking at it. Then it's an even bet. That seems fair. Scare? What? Why did he agree to me taking his soul? Mortal, I'm scared of nothing. Except for typing correctly. Ahem. I agree to your deal. If I cannot take your soul in the next week, then my soul shall belong to you. Out of interest, what do you plan to do about it? Eat it? You could pro you can mix our souls and make some kind of soul baby. I haven't decided yet. Now see, if I say soul baby, it looks like harassment. <laughs> thank you for the stress. Thank you, thank you. That sounds like a really fun deal though. Great incentives. How much is the soul worth for him to have his own house? I don't think he's selling the souls. Maybe he is. Or is he in debt? You think Grim Reaper would be in debt? I don't think so. So like Boo from Mario? Man, I'd rather have it be like the star, the blue star from Mario. Absolute depression. What nonsense are you spouting now? You know, a soul baby. I heard what you said. I was honestly hoping I heard you wrong. What's the issue then? Putting aside the fact that what you said is impossible, I am not ready to be a father. Guess I'll hold on to the soul for now then. I can really visit the soul baby thing later. We will absolutely not be doing that. It is of little concern. Seeing you will soon be yielding your soul to me. What, what are my taxes to death, huh? Fine, if it's not a soul, baby. I guess I'll make a necklace out of it or something. For some reason, that is just as strange. Anyway, as fun as this is, it's getting kind of late. 
We can't w all waste our time messaging random people on the internet. It doesn't take it much less time if you've done as you were told, aka give up your soul. <clears throat> Thank you so much for the follow, Light Dragon. Welcome, welcome. Oh shit, I missed the thing. What did he say? Fuck. I didn't see it! You know what? It's okay. It's negligible to a degree. Done as I was sold, yes. People usually do what I tell them to do. Man, that's cocky. I usually don't follow orders from strangers. Oh, perhaps you should. No! I'm good not being kidnapped, honestly. My, you're very straightforward, aren't you? You do seem like the type to be enjoyed bossing people around. I'll pass, actually. Of course I would. That's what that's what I just told you. You admit it so readily. What is there to be confused about? Alright. I see your mind has wandered into mortal fantasies. I'd argue that this is your fantasy. You were the one who brought up me following your orders. I simply stating it would make my job easier. Sadly, not everything is easy in life. Or death in this case. Dealing with you certainly isn't. You like talking to me. I disagree. I know you do. I very strongly disagree. You like it so much. I disagree so hard that I could win some kind of award for the most someone has ever disagreed with a statement. Maybe it's like so many negatives added together, it becomes a positive. He knows. <laughs> oh my. So you actually agree? Absolutely not. You know what? Mortal, you're dismissed. Off to bed immediately. Out of out of spite, I would not sleep. Dude objects like he's trying to be in Phoenix, right? <laughs> Objection! Dismissed? Do you not understand the word? You can go. Please. Aw, oh, but I was having so much fun. Yes, I usually have that effect on people. But it's time for you to get your due rest. I think you're trying to kill me. Whoa, you're acting like you care. You'll need your rest, else our competition won't be as fun. He's sticking out his tongue! You can't just say sleep well, you know. Good night, little reaper. Sleep well. Aw, no more reaper. Hey, wait a second. How'd you know my name? How indeed. He's still typing wrong. I never told you. Wow, I wonder how exactly I could have known then. It's not like I have a big list sitting in front of me with your name circled at the bottom. We're at the bottom of the list? Ma'am. Aw, you circled it. <laughs> Good night. I'm not ta talking though. You got dogs? Oh no! I can't believe it. He said my name. RL. Night. Cat Lounge. Wait, wait, wait. Cat Lounge VT. That's a that's a VTuber. <clears throat> Sleep well, Grimmy. I wonder if that's actually a, a VTuber. Oh wait, can you change my user? Wait, can I change my username? Why? This one's kind of lame. Lame? It is not lame. It represents how many souls I've cleaned before yours. Oh, that's quite a bit of souls. It is a badge of honor. Hello, Myron. How are you? There's probably a VTuber for everything. No, there is, but I wonder if it's like a real VTuber. But can I change it or not? Fine. Hey! What about my picture? You're a needy little thing, aren't you? I have a lot- I- I like customization. Just for you. There's a jar of YouTube? What the fuck? Are you serious? I've turned on the feature for me- Yay! Wait, how do I do it? <gasps> oh my god, these are so cute! Okay, do I go for the, the crying one or do- I think I like the crying one. I think at this point we have to do Valk. 
V18 was kidding. <laughs> the white one? There's, both of these are so cute. There's just an egg. There's definitely an anime for everything. And like some of the titles are get weird. Let me look up, let's see. Wild, what? What's up? I guess I'll do, but I want, I want some color too. I don't know, it's tough. Update it, let's see. Uh, Butareba, Butareba. The story of a man turned into a pig. Uh, I'm trying to see what else. I shall survive using potions. Yeah, I do have the Tsukimi keycaps. I'm waiting for the um, dragon ones that they'll probably release next year. In another world, it is truly finally Waluigi time. The new is Isekai. Oh my god. My new boss is Goofy. Uh, I'm trying to see. Not all of these are actually weird. Red to girlfriend. Let me check the walkthrough first. Uh, yeah. These aren't the isekai, so it's not like... This looks like a really old romance. A girl and her guard dog. Okay. Oh, we can see how it looks. Okay, this, uh, we'll keep the white one. Thanks, Grimmy. Good night, night. Imagine being a dragon birth year. I'm totally not fucking jealous. It's like I was made to be a dragon VTuber. Okay, that was great. That was fun. For the demo of this game, I appreciate I enjoyed playing that. I see when it says it's, it's planning to release in Q4 of 2023. So release by the end of this year at some time. Because you're weak to ice? Okay, listen. I wouldn't... I'm not that weak to the cold. Did you guys enjoy it? Want to support the full release and get rewards? Get a custom hairstyle? Accessory or outfit in-game? Ooh! Wait, wait, wait. So... Date with deathitch.io How do I support this so I can get like a custom outfit? 